Today's our final day on the attribute of God, that God is merciful and gracious, and our scripture comes from one of the last books in the New Testament, the first letter of Peter, and I'm going to be sharing the first five verses of that letter. This is how it opens. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the exiles of the dispersion in Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, who have been chosen and destined by God the Father and sanctified by the Spirit to be obedient to Jesus Christ and to be sprinkled with his blood. May grace and peace be yours in abundance. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy, he has given us a new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you who are being protected by the power of God through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. Well, I selected this passage to be the final one where we talk about mercy and grace and for a number of reasons. First, you hear the Trinitarian emphasis, the speaking of God the Father, of the Holy Spirit, and of Jesus Christ, that by the time 1 Peter was written, this was now becoming a familiar way of talking about God and different aspects of the members of the Trinity. And you hear the emphasis on by his great mercy that we have a new birth. And we recall Jesus talking to Nicodemus in John chapter 3 about how we need to have a new birth, a spiritual birth birth. We need to be born again in a different way than our physical birth when we come to Christ. And that you hear the emphasis on the resurrection, which was again the thing that pushed the church out. How could they not speak about this amazing thing that God had done? And this promise of God, uh, this inheritance that we have, it's not an inheritance like somebody leaving you some really expensive clothes that eventually wear out or leaving you money that someone could steal. But the inheritance we have in Christ is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading. It will never, ever fade. No one can take it from you. And that is perhaps one of the greatest acts of God's mercy and grace of all. That what God has done for us in Christ, we have for all eternity. And that gives us hope, and that gives us courage for the living of these days.